If you're looking for the next best thing to invest in, try investing in your long-term health with Forward. Forward is intelligent medicine with a personal touch. Their doctors are dedicated to catching top killers like cancer and heart disease early, which could save you tens of thousands of dollars in the long run. So invest in a doctor that's invested in you. Visit GoForward.com to learn more about how Forward can help you manage your long-term health risks for one flat monthly fee. That's GoForward.com. Hey, podcaster. Meet Acast. We're the top independent podcast network for creators in the know. We empower you to develop your podcast idea, find your audience, and grow listener relationships wherever those listeners are. You'll also find a whole range of ways to make money, from membership plans for paying fans to our fully curated and creative advertising experience. Visit acast.com slash network to find out more. Acast, for the stories. Hey, what's going on? I'm Ellis Williams, and you're listening to a special Headlines edition of the Orange and Brown Talk podcast. Here's the latest happening with the Cleveland Browns. It was a wild week for the Cleveland Browns and the entire league as free agency ripped through the NFL. We had plenty of big spending teams like the New England Patriots, some teams that didn't do a whole lot, and then clubs that are right there in the middle looking for the bargain deals and value plays. And that's exactly what Cleveland, Andrew Barry, and the Browns were able to do this week. It started with the Browns acquiring safety John Johnson from the Los Angeles Rams. Johnson comes to Cleveland on a deal worth $33.7 million. It's a three-year contract, and he'll be the focal point of a Browns safety rotation that now includes himself, Grant Delpit, and Ronnie Harrison. It's the first step in the Browns and defensive coordinator Joe Woods building towards a 4-2-5 defense, meaning the Browns would like to deploy four down defensive linemen, just two linebackers, and five defensive backs instead of the traditional 4-3. John Johnson will play a large role in that, as will another signee from the Rams, cornerback Troy Hill. Troy Hill is a versatile 5'11", 185-pound corner who can slide both inside and out, defending the slot and playing outside bigger receivers. He'll have a pivotal role playing against the run when in the slot and covering teams' receivers across the middle of the field. The Rams also brought in defensive end Tack McKinley. They've had their eyes on Tack for a while now, trying to claim him at least three different times on waivers throughout the season it didn't work out and now finally he's in cleveland on a one-year deal tax spoke to local media and said it's time that he needs to start acting like he wants to be in the nfl if he plans on remaining he wore a nice suit and tie and is off to a nice start the goal is to pair him next to miles garrett and revive his career considering tack is a former 2017 first round pick of the atlanta falcons The Browns stayed busy, also grabbing one-year deals with Colts linebacker Anthony Walker. Walker was described as a center point and focal leader on the Colts team. His teammate Darius Leonard was disappointed to see the Colts not retain Walker. But Andrew Barry and Kevin Stefanski are excited about the intelligent linebacker they're signing, one who will certainly help against the run. They're also acquiring former Pro Bowl defensive lineman Malik Jackson, formerly of the Eagles, who was cut. Malik Jackson will help on the defensive line, playing next to Sheldon Richardson, inside with Andrew Billings, and second-year player Jordan Elliott. Malik Jackson isn't the star he once used to be, but he still can get after the quarterback and will provide the Browns relief in pass rush. The Browns also saw themselves bring back some of their own players. They re-signed linebacker Malcolm Smith, receiver Rashard Higgins, another receiver in JoJo Natson, and kicker Cody Parkey. The Browns roster is really starting to come into form, and we're only about a month from the NFL draft. It'll be interesting interesting to see what comes next for this GM and the Browns, who are quickly becoming one of the NFL's darlings of the offseason. That's the latest happening with the Cleveland Browns. I'm Ellis Williams. Don't forget to check out the Orange and Brown Talk podcast featuring myself, Mary Kay Cabot, Dan Lobby, Scott Patsko, Doug Lee Maurice on your favorite podcast catcher or at cleveland.com slash podcast. 
from membership plans for paying fans to our fully curated and creative advertising experience. Visit acast.com slash network to find out more. Acast, for the stories.